Welcome to the Chemistry 450 Atomic and Molecular Clusters Key Concepts video series. In this video I will discuss the spherical cluster approximation. The spherical cluster approximation, or SCA, models n atom clusters as spheres whose volumes are n times that of one of the constituent atoms. It is immediately obvious that this is a significant oversimplification since the SCA assumes a packing fraction of 1, which is clearly impossible, and it ignores the fact that cluster geometries, which influence cluster physical chemical properties, are not necessarily spherical. Nevertheless, the SCA is a good entry point for discussing cluster properties. The SCA provides a simple relationship between cluster geometry and the geometry of the constituent atoms. With a little algebraic manipulation, we find that the SCA predicts that the fraction of atoms which lie on the surface of a cluster is 4 divided by the cube root of n. The fraction of surface atoms is a useful index since many cluster properties depend on Fs, and this gives us a good metric to describe bulk evolution. The blue dashed line shows the SCA prediction of Fs as a function of 1 over the cube root of n. The exact values of Fs for several pseudo-close-packed icosahedral clusters is plotted in red data points. Note that with increasing cluster size, Fs for the icosahedral clusters approaches the SCA predictions. This trend allows us to introduce a somewhat arbitrary classification for cluster size regimes. Small clusters with less than about 100 atoms exhibit relatively large deviations from SCA predictions. Medium-sized clusters containing approximately 100 to 10,000 atoms exhibit relatively small deviations from the SCA. And large clusters containing more than 10,000 atoms are well modeled by the SCA. It is worth noting that in our classification system, large clusters still occupy the nanoscale size regime. For example, using the wigner seitz radii for the most common metals, we calculate that small clusters have diameters that are less than 2 nanometers, medium-sized clusters have diameters between 2 and 9 nanometers, and large clusters have diameters larger than about 9 nanometers. Interestingly, approximately 20% of the atoms in a 10,000 atom cluster are located on the cluster surface. The percentage of surface atoms reaches 1% for clusters that contain approximately 64 million atoms, and even then, cluster diameters are only on the order of 160 nanometers. Consequently, cluster properties are often influenced by quantum confinement effects. I hope that you found this short video to be useful. See you next time.